Ah, dead ahead to Shell City. More like Shell Shitty, am I right? Last time, the SpongeBob boys became men by putting barnacles on their face. And now, the barnacles are gone for some reason, which doesn't really make much sense. Anyways, what's goody everyone? Welcome back to SpongeBob SquarePants, the movie, the game. These are steel chum bucket safes. Anyways, now, as Patrick Starr in the last episode, these we are went steel to chum bucket safes. Shut up, Mindy, for fuck's sake, I'm doing the intro. We'll in the last place. episode, we got our throwing ability after we escaped the trench, as you can see. You press the R button. And this anchor shows you where you're gonna throw. So you can throw at many things. Let's throw at that. Yay! Macho Smash! Now, as I said, this level is called Shell City Dead Ahead, which kind of looks like what I pictured Shell City to look like in my head before I actually saw the movie. Um, however, because now that we got the throwing ability, there are several things we could go back and do. So why don't we take care of two challenges that are now available to us and go back to other levels, all right? So see you guys there. Skadoosh, welcome back. Also, I like how it just warped us up to this little point even though we didn't even make it up here before, but we're at the Thug Tug for throwing the fruit electric. Basically, this is a sort of puzzle endurance type thing out where we gotta throw the fruit and it's electric. Ah, the more the melon. So basically, oh shit! Oh, I guess this is how you're supposed to get that treasure chest. Um, oh shit. So basically, the thing with these melons is that once you pick them up, they will become like a ticking time bomb of sorts. And you also can't let them hit the electricity. Once they explode, you will not be able to use the melon anymore. You have to go back and get another one. But you also don't want them to hit the electricity as, I think, they're dangerous stuff. Yeah, they, they would get hurt by it. Even though the electricity shit wasn't even there. Um, I'm gonna tell you, this mission is kind of annoying. Also, you can't jump while you're using the fruit. Alright, pick that up. We're gonna want to get it over here. You're gonna have to transfer the fruit onto these little... Oh, it's about to explode! Onto these little footprints. The classic Nickelodeon footprints. Just to get the, uh, the, the button to appear to hit it. Now I said it's, you gotta go fast because you quite literally have to go pretty fast in order to do this. Um, thankfully we're halfway through. So, right in the middle there, we can throw that there, but be careful because the electricity intersects here. Oh, I was so close. I thought I was gonna get that in one shot, honestly. Also, you don't get Krabby Patties here, so it's very easy to lose your life here. Alright, so we're gonna want to throw it there as that's finishing. I think we should be good. Oh, oh, I ran into it. Oh, shit. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die! Patrick Star! Alright. So yeah, this, I guess, begins the trend. That's not gonna, that's not gonna work. Wait, what? It only breaks if I'm carrying it? Because that definitely went through. Those sons of a monkeys. But yeah, this starts the trend of going back to levels in order to do skills, or, or with with skills that we just encountered. Oh, oh fuck, oh fuck, I'm gonna die! Oh, what? That wasn't even... See, it's hard to tell where the hickbox is gonna be. At least we get... Oh no, this, we started from the beginning. God damn! But, yeah, it's so hard to tell where the hitbox is on these electricity things, because it doesn't really even show you. Like, you can get hit before even seeing it. Yeah, this, this throwing the fruit electric shit is kind of difficult. Like, it's gonna be hard for you, especially for your first time trying it. Ouch! Okay. See? Like, you get... It's very, very deceptive. You might as well just try to just jump over it every chance you get. Uh, alright. Let's jump right over. Pick that up. Yeah. And also forget, you need time in order... Pick it up, Patrick! You're gonna need time in order to do that. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Alright, now we're back here. No, I didn't wanna- Alright, whatever. We got- we got some macho in this. Throw it there as it's going. Should be fine. Just throw it over there. 
Yes, 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 yes. And that should do it. Now we're gonna get that. Pick it up, Patrick! Oh! Fuck! Alright, cut. Pick it up! Oh my god. Why are you supposed to be picking it up? Yeah, the, the, the hitbox is kind of annoying on that. Alright, 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 alright. Come on, come on, come on. Pick it up, pick it up! Yes! There we go! Throwing the fruit officially... Oh, Patrick, what the fuck? Uh, I'll just get the Scoopy Goober token. It's officially been electrified. There we are. And just like that, we have gotten this Scoopy Goober token, so let's get another throwing the fruit. Well, not really the fruit, but we're gonna get another throwing electric. We're gonna get another fucking token, alright? I'll see you guys in the next episode. Not NEXT LEVEL! I CAN'T SPEAK! Ah, now we're Spongebob. That's not how it's that's supposed to be. Spongebob didn't get a new ability. We gotta go over here. And look, I told you Patrick didn't lose his mustache yet. I, I, I always thought it was weird the way he, like, walks like that. Alright, well, you saw this before, but fruit is not the only thing that we can throw. We can throw ice! Slipping, slipping, and basically, slipping. we gotta make it to that Goofy Goober token. Simple as that. Just, just make it right over here. And look at that. Essentially, a free Goofy Goober token once you're able to throw shit. And with that, we have now officially completed this entire... No, not that level. This entire level. Stop moving! Uh, Alright, well, now let's head to Shell City dead ahead. Also, wait, 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 Boob tube smashing boob. Just, what? Alright, now that we're back, as our mustache is yet again still disappeared for whatever reason, let us throw that, get that, get some free- That stuff. wasn't so tough. Thank you, Patrick, for saying that. Ah! <laughs> Light as a feather, but- Oh, I throw that at Mindy? No, I didn't want to talk to you. Have you destroyed all the televisions yet? Uh, well, let's see. Two, four, twelve, uh, no. Alright, I guess that was necessary. Wait, where did my- alright, whatever. Oh, I was about to say, I don't think I have a thing I can hit that button. But yeah, as you can see, you cannot progress to this level without using the, uh, the melon toss. Another reason is... Hey, look, it's that enemy that we hate. Oh! SpongeBob doing karate! Oh! He got Pawn Diddly. But he's figuring it out. He just threw his whole arm! Holy shit! Wait, but he threw his whole arm! Why are you going back in the garbage? Alright, thank you for the tutorial, Spongebob. So yes, essentially the only way to get these guys is to throw shit at them. This might be a good idea to uh, upgrade this thing as soon as possible so you can take them down in one hit. But unfortunately, we do not have the capability of doing that yet, but it's okay. Um, oh yeah, we have to do some fruit throwing in, in addition. So we throw this over here. So it's now we have a little bit of, of puzzle stuff in this. Hit that. Look at all those boxes. Oh, a big shitty toilet! Oh, jeez. And now, we got some more bucketed jellyfish and another new version of an enemy, the shitty dog worm guy. How about that? There we go. Oh, wow, I didn't get hit by the jellyfish for once. Alright, well... And then, yeah, the, the, the enemies in the stage are, like, so unique. It's just, like, their only time that they're in it at all. Which is kind of crazy. Um, Give it up, Patrick. You and that sponge fool will never get Neptune's crown back. <laughs> oh, let's throw it up there. Shut up, Plankton. Yeah, we need to use that. We do the thinking for you. <laughs> Turn that shit off. Yeah, that's our first uh, TV we got. The new TV was okay. bad for you, but I didn't know it was this bad. Oh, it just lets us go back. To Why? 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 They're just making me do this shit again. Damn it. 
I also really like the, uh, the music in this one. Oh, no! I fell in the poo-poo. Yeah, I really like the music in this level. It's pretty nice. It's very unique, too. And for a level that isn't even in the game at all. Like, or in the movie at all, I should say. Hey, look, we got the chum guys again. And now, as Patrick, we have another way of dealing with them besides using that. Oh, shit, I didn't even see that there was a TNT over there. See, because now, I believe... I don't even know, I don't think we can do that. Oh, we can block them with that, that's interesting. Let me see if I can try to hit them. Yeah, you can! Awesome! So that's our way of dealing with it, since we don't have SpongeBob's uppercut. Let's, let's just carry this with us for whatever reason. For that. Now, there's a bunch of side uh, missions in this level. You can also pick up those TNT barrels and throw them as well. But yeah, there's a bunch of side missions in this level that you're going to want to keep an eye out for, because some of them are really hard to, or easy to miss, I guess, is the way. Oh, you could stack them up. But right, let's see if we can do that. Can I get that? Oh, come on, so close. Uh, it looks like it's one, it wants to go down. Come on. Is there one I'm missing? No, whatever. Oh, hey, look. There's a token right there. Interesting. As I said, you have to keep an eye out. Let's see, I'm, let me try to throw this on top of that. Uh, that's, that's not what I wanted, but whatever. I got coins for it. I, I call it coins, but they're not. Now, you can't jump over there. I think I've actually tried to jump over there, but I think there's like an invisible wall blocking you. Anyways, we got more of the, uh, the now they're fucking green. The, the, now it's like they're not just garbage, but they're spewing garbage. Now you see this guy's a little bit over by that melon there, so you think if we go by the melon, it'd be hard. But if we stun him, if we stun these guys, it's also really good to have upgraded Patrick's uh, smash at this point. Because then you can just stun enemies and throw them. Not even having to worry about uh, going anywhere near that guy. So, I mean, I'm, I guess it's possible to complete that without even, uh, you know, without, without, uh, what do you call it? Dealing with that guy, but, uh, no, without dealing with the melon. There we go, is what I'm trying to say. Also, here's how you do this. Hey, and now this is Cirque du la Maze. I get it, get it? Cirque du la Maze? It's sort of like a maze thing with our, uh, our moving around with Patrick's tongue. Uh, can I get up there? Yay! Very yummy, Patrick. Very yummy indeed. What are these things that we're on? Are they like hockey pucks? Oh, what the fuck? Or at least that didn't kill me. Oh, what? Oh, these things sink! I forgot they sink! Oh, I didn't even realize that. Okay. Um, tongue. Tongue. It's really dark here, too. The lighting in this game, like, the engine isn't very good, I have to say. I've said it before, but, like, I mean, I guess it's, that's supposed to be part of the challenge, but, like, still, it's not, it's not all that great. Oh, I thought this was a lot, there was a lot more to this one. I'm thinking of another part in this level. Anyways. Uh, easy ring, ring, wow. Easy coin get right there. And we've already got the, our first coin of this level. And thankfully we don't have to redo that, wait, is there something there? We don't have to redo this boss battle. Boss battle. I really can't speak today, what is this shit? So this melon is here, not just for that, uh, not just for that area, but also to get rid of this guy. Now, I just realized I do this stage a lot more when I'm already fully upgraded because I can usually take that guy out in one try. I could have used my upgrade last level, um, or last episode for, um, Patrick's little thing. Like, I could have saved it, but I'm, I thought it'd be better to get the Krabby Patties anyway. And look, it's already paid off for us. Alright, now this is gonna be tricky. We got, we're on this thing, and it's a little slippery. You gotta, like, time it really perfectly, plus the way the steam works! Ah, son of a mungo. Come to Blanktopolis! The town's so nice, they named it after me! <laughs> I love Plankton. It's so stupid. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on! Alright! No! Come on, come on, come on, come on. You could probably reach that if you had the upgraded one. You don't have to worry about hurting yourself thinking anymore. 
Oh. Wait, I died without. Wait. Wait, what? I'm alive? Can I make it back up? No. I was gonna say, like, what the fuck? I, what was I standing on? Alright, let's see if I can do this like this. Oh! Alright. Yeah, this is where the levels get, like, quite challenging, honestly. This is, like, the first level that you're gonna have a hard time on, like... For a long period of time. Again! What am I standing on?! Yeah! The most I've died in the episode. Alright. That doesn't make any sense! Ouch! Fuck! Why is this slippery anyway? It's not like it's ice or whatever. Oh, great. We got that guy behind us too, so it's like a motivator. Oh! That's it. Cut! Yeah! No! Damn it, I made it, and I uh, Can I just jump over there? No! Oh, 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 oh! Yeah! Fuck yes! Oh my god, what is this mechanical shit tied to? Just ten fucking rusted can. Alright, now... You've got Mr. Plankton. Before we take care of these... There we go, another one that bites in the dust. Now they're really low to the ground here. By the way, I've died to that, that section, the slippery section, more than anything in this game so far, so that's nice. I swear, the buckets are barely on these guys' heads. Like, like you can see it, like, kind of coming off when he does that. How, how is... What if it just falls off? You know, is it, like, suction glued to their head or something? If it, like, what... Where, what's Plankton's, like, backup plan if that happens? I don't know. Let's blow that up. Here we go, checkpoint. Nice. Bring up two. Kid Kaboom. Am I right? Alrighty. Now we've got some more. Also, we can pick up these boxes, but they break very easily. See? They didn't, didn't even do nothing about that one. Oh, I wanted to pick that one up, but unfortunately it could not. Let's see if I can reach... You're supposed to, I guess, I don't know how you're supposed to do that. Uh, I guess you have to pick up the TNT barrel and you have to pick whichever one you want. I don't know. Anyways, we got this guy over there for some reason. He's not bothering us. Let's just throw this at him. This guy, at the very least, they don't have the, uh... Oh, cool. There's an ambush. They don't have the, uh, missiles as of yet. That's in a later variant of them. Get that. That guy is taken care of. Jump right over here. And boop! Boop, you're like right that. Like right that. I like how this guy's dancing. It's like, eh, 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 eh. Uh, no, I want to throw him at you. Alright, now, as you guys might have seen, we got a little bit of a challengey thingy over here. And it's the return of the sponge bowl. Why don't we get right in that? This is what I believe to be the hardest SpongeBob challenge, I believe, yet. And I think it's the last one. So let's just go. We've got flipping thingy mabobbers here. So let's be very careful. I guess another thing I could say is, like, thank... I've, I've said this before, but, like, thank God these things aren't timed. Because I would just put... That would, these would definitely be harder than the, uh floating block challenges in that case. Personally, I think the floating block challenges are harder. But like I said, I think it's simply because those are time. Stay on the block! Alright, here we go. And this music is amazing. I don't know if this was in Battle for Bikini Bottom as well. Alright, this one, you gotta take it slow. As opposed to rolling really fast, you gotta take it, take it mighty slow. And although this is kind of weirdly controlled, it still controls better than the, the ball thing in Mario Galaxy. Alright, now we've got a tricky one. Again, sticking it slow would be a good idea here, because you don't want to get... Wow, I think that's the first time I died in one of these. 
if I would die at some point. A rolling sponge gathers no barnacles. Oh, really? Is that true, SpongeBob? I, I didn't know that. Oh! My balls! Alright, let's try this again. Stay on the block. Oh, Karaoke! Also, if you're trying to deduce what I'd be saying when I just say, like, that random shit, I don't even know myself. Alright, after that blue one goes, there we go. Oh boy, cylinders! Okay. Get ready, get ready, get ready. That should be fine. Oh no. Whoa, I couldn't even get on that one. This one should be fine. Fine. Where's this? There's no checkpoints in this one? I guess not. Alright, now we've got the final flippy dippy dipper. Alright, you. Blue. Red. Yellow. Blue. Red. Yellow. Yeah! No, correct? I thought there was a, there might be another one actually after this. I'm not sure. Because I th thought there would be one harder than this, despite me dying to this one more times than I had previously thought that I or I previously had before. Die I I I I 40 40 tokens we got right now. Oh. Hey, we can upgrade. Let's let's take care of that. Where's, where's the, nope, seven, seven, Z, I mean. Let's upgrade that throw for Mr. Patrick. Nope, get, there we go. Don't use the fucking D-pad for that shit, jeez. Boom, enough said. Now we get the, <laughs> enough said. Now we get the macho throw, which means we could throw like this. Pick it up. Holding R allows us to spin and throw really quite far and really quite fast. So let's uh, do this next area real quick. Get up there. Now, but then here's the thing now. You're gonna still wanna like lightly tap. Uh huh. You're gonna wanna try and lightly tap R just to throw normally because it's gonna be a little bit harder to do that. Let's get up on there. Get this thing down. Um, ah, okay, I remember this one. Now we're gonna have to pile stuff on. Oh, alright. Well, you see what you're basically supposed to do. Pick that up. Get up there. No! Don't see, the problem is... Oh, I guess that took out that guy over there. So the, the thing here is that if you use the, uh, the macho throw, it's gonna break whatever you're holding at the time of throwing it. So you gotta be very careful. Let's go over here. I mean, unless your goal is to break whatever you're throwing at. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm supposed to throw it at him. Come on. Squish. Ow! Oh, I didn't even use the upgrade thing. Also, these guys have glasses, but like, they're like fake glasses, right? Because you can't even see their eyes. I just noticed that. Alright, there we go. And let's take care of you. Kablooey. Like the, the, the candy and... What the fuck? Where does this guy keep coming from? What did I even hit? Alright. So. No, I'm not trying to... Can I just toss it at this thing? Thank you. Please. Alright, now... I guess at this point in the level, unfortunately, uh, first of all, let's just go over here. Only SpongeBob may play the Sonic Wave Guitar Challenge. So we switch characters. We're back to the Spongy Big Bob. And the Sonic Wave Guitar thing, we don't have yet. So unfortunately, we can't uh, do that yet. We get these. We got one of them. Oh no! Alright, well, what I was gonna say before I was rudely killed is I don't want to die again. Okay, thank god. Alright, uh, then I think I'm gonna end things off here. Yes, I know, we're not gonna be completely finished with this level just yet. 
Only because there's half of a level left, and of course there's something after the level that is going to be very intriguing for us, alright? So I think we're going to end things off here. So next time, we're going to go finish Shell City dead ahead, and hopefully find Shell City ahead, alright? So thank you guys all for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Have a great night. Take care. Adios. Just using the regular SpongeBob, like, it'll be very hard. And now, we've got this guy. Big Lobster Man! Like, no, no Larry! You gotta keep hitting. He's kind of like a mini boss, I guess. Just keep hitting him with your bowling ball. Lobster, no Larry. Aww. SpongeBob, don't give me that look. You do exactly what you want to do. That poor monster, you just want to make a bash and have some fun. Right well, now we go into some more pulsating intestines. And one over here. Jellyfish? This monster swallowed jellyfish? How could you even get jellyfish to this bottom of the fucking ocean?